Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Today we have one of the really cool paint schemes of the 2022 season. It is Chase Elliott's Coca-Cola 600 paint scheme, the Napa Salute Chevy. Now, I must say his 2023 paint scheme is so much better than this. The 2023 uh, Coke 600 paint scheme is so much better than this. It's freaking amazing. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. Alrighty, folks, run out of the good old box and check out this patriotic Napa Auto Parts gear wrench Chevy Camaro. Holy cow. Brother, if you haven't picked up this diecast, let me be the first one to tell you, avoid the authentic version of this car at all costs. Go over to the Circle B diecast, save yourself the time and the stress and the heartache, and pick up this car in the Gold Series. If you need that shipping code, guys, you can check it out for any orders, $30 or more. It will help you save on shipping. And um, I tell you what, the Gold Series edition of this car is about a million times better than that Authentics hunk of junk. That doesn't even have the window banner. It doesn't even have the patriotic tires. The colors are so diluted, you'd think you would, you, you'd think you would be looking at the car like this. Get this. That is without lining. And then I go this. This is what the car looks like. Just super dull and plain. But no, this car is actually very bright red and a deep, beautiful blue. So my point is, guys, save yourself the time. Don't fool with all that nonsense called the Authentics PTC mold. So dive into this paint team. It's a simple snow white paint job with the blue Napa logo. We go to the front of the car here. You have the blue that wraps around the whole front valence. Got the white number nine right there. Uh, Hendrick Motorsports decal. You got the uh, Sunoco decal as well. You got over here on the window banner, it does say, um, I think it's First Lieutenant Harris. L Lieutenant, I think. I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> it can mean anything, to be honest with you. I'm not too uh, familiar with that stuff. On the tires, unfortunately, it's extremely pixelated, but I think it says honor and remember. Got the number nine right there. You have the Napa Auto Parts decal there. Gear Wrench, which I always thought Gear Wrench is one of the sponsors. Like, okay, if we're sponsoring Kevin Harvick, we could only sponsor Kevin Harvick. No, I see them sponsoring Toyota Supras in the Xfinity Series. I see them sponsoring... Um, what is it, the ARCA Toyota cars, and now they're sponsored Chase Elliott. <laughs> and they still sponsor Kevin Harvick, I believe. So it's it's interesting how like they're sponsoring three different manufacturers, which in a lot of times is really uncommon uh, throughout the history of the sport. So that's kind of a rare anom anomaly. Uh, you get A-Shock Energy, Hooters, Lumar, and Universe. I like how these two logos didn't have a background, but Hooters, unfortunately, just, yeah. I, I, don't, like, I don't like seeing random backgrounds when it doesn't flow well. Um... You got the Goodyear decal there, Cup Series, uh, NASCAR salutes. You got Chase Elliott. For whatever reason, they moved this logo so far back. Uh, you got your race win sticker from Dover, Kelly Blue Book, uh, Valvoline. Let's go ahead and get a closer look at the uh, the B post here. You get uh, Exalta, Akron's, Cincinnati Industries, Freightliner. You got Toters, Mac Tools, Simeons, or no, did we say that twice? Maybe, maybe not, who knows. <laughs> you go to the back end of the car, you have a very retro, patriotic stripe across the tailgate of this car. Got the gear wrench decal, once again, the blue number 9, compared to the white number 9 in the front. Valvoline decal there, Camaro, get your popper, rivet design on the spoiler, then you go to the right side of this die cast, and again, with that authentic version of this car. The red is so dark, and the blue looks so lifeless. Not to mention the lines and the decal quality. I mean, it's, it is atrocious how bad that car is, yet they still make it. Uh, it, it's, it blows my mind. They have the Chase Elliott number 9 on the roof, and I love this. You have the, the blue in the middle, the red outlining, a white outlining, and then another blue outlining. Such a beautiful um, kind of redone version of the number 9. You can even see it on the, on the door panel how it's white, blue, um, white, and then red again. Really cool how they, uh, they changed that up. You got Napa know-how on the roof. You got Elliott on the back window. Napa Auto Parts on the deck lid. But if you're really going to compare this car to the 2023 edition, the 2023 edition is like, it really reminds me of some of them Jimmy Johnson um, patriotic paint schemes that are just that are just amazing, right? But this one's certainly really good in my opinion. Definitely a good looking die cast. The colors work really well with it. Um, it definitely reminds me of the 2000s with uh, Michael Waltrip and how uh, Napa Auto Parts would always have so many cool little patriotic paint schemes. So it's good to see them still doing so. It's a shame we get these very, very boring boxes. They have absolutely no character to them. I mean, I just, I don't know. I, I feel like even for the 2023 boxes, which are very similar, 
why can't they just get more color in the boxes? I, I don't know. It, 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 it beats me. Um, but I guess that's just, you know, what it is. But regardless, guys, if you're a Chase Elliott fan, this is certainly a die cast I would pick up. There's a whole bunch of these alternate Napa Auto Parts cars. Now, I couldn't tell you which one of these are going to dry up or if any of them are going to be rare, but if you're a diehard fan, you might as well pick them up while they're cheap and not wait and potentially miss out. There's like six or seven different Napa cars for the 2022 season. Uh, I don't even think that's including his raced versions, by the way, or raced wins, which he won five races in the Napa car. Uh, so a whole buttload of them for your collection. I believe... It, 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 out of all the Chase Elliott seasons, this is the most 164s we've gotten for the Cup Series because he won five races, which is the most he's ever won in this season, I believe. And then you have like five or six just alternate clean paint schemes. Then you have the Patriotic one. <laughs> it's just, and not to mention all the other sponsors, the Hooters car, uh, the Dirt Bristol race version, the Kelly Blue Book, X, Y, and Z. So we're talking borderline almost 20 possibly cup car 164s for Elliott in 2022 crazy stuff so that's gonna be all for now feel free to comment down below what y'all think about this diecast I definitely um, like this piece and you do have the, that kind of metallic silver dark gray wheels so that's a nice touch uh, thank you all so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe diecast buffet signing off